Despite Jesus doing miracles, most Jewish people did not see him as the Messiah. He healed the sick, made the deaf hear, the paralyzed walk, and even raised the dead, all before the eyes of the Jewish leaders. These actions matched what they expected from a Messiah. Yet, they still rejected him. This rejection has deep roots in Jewish expectations of what a Messiah would be. In this video, we will present four reasons for this. We are trying to understand why Jewish people do not accept Jesus as the Messiah. The first reason is misinterpretation of prophecies led to unmet expectations. The Jewish people, deeply rooted in their faith and guided by Old Testament prophecies, awaited the arrival of a Savior who would fulfill their long-held expectations. As Isaiah states, Therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign, the virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, and will call him Emmanuel. Isaiah 7 verse 14 These prophecies, passed down through generations, painted a vivid picture of a Messiah who would liberate them from oppression and usher in God's kingdom on earth. Jesus, during his earthly ministry, embodied many aspects of these ancient predictions. As Isaiah foretells, The Spirit of the Sovereign Lord is on me, because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom for the captives and release from darkness for the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. Isaiah 61 verses 1 to 2. His miraculous deeds, teachings of love and salvation, and demonstrations of power over nature and evil aligned with the expectations of many. However, a significant source of confusion arose from the belief that all prophecies would be fulfilled in a single visit. Jewish leaders, influenced by the prevailing socio-political climate under Roman rule, anticipated a Messiah who would deliver them from foreign oppression and restore Israel to its former glory. Reflecting Zechariah, which prophesied, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion! Shout, daughter Jerusalem! See, your king comes to you, righteous and victorious, lowly and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Zechariah 9 verse 9 When Jesus did not manifest as the triumphant political leader they envisioned, doubt began to seep in among the Jewish populace. The discrepancy between their expectations and the reality of Jesus' mission led many to question whether he truly fulfilled the role of the awaited Messiah. As Daniel explains, Know and understand this, from the time the word goes out to restore and rebuild Jerusalem until the Anointed One, the ruler, comes, there will be seven sevens, and sixty-two sevens. After the sixty-two sevens, the Anointed One will be put to death and will have nothing. The people of the ruler who will come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. Daniel 9 verses 25 to 26. This misunderstanding was compounded by the failure to recognize the distinction between the first and second comings of the Messiah. While Jesus indeed fulfilled numerous prophecies during his initial appearance, there remain prophecies yet to be realized, particularly those concerning the establishment of an earthly kingdom and the restoration of Israel's prominence. Echoing Psalm, which declares, The stone the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Psalm 118 verse 22. Ultimately, the inability to grasp the spiritual significance of Jesus' mission, coupled with the insistence on immediate political liberation, blinded many to his true identity as the Messiah. The misinterpretation of Old Testament prophecies, combined with the dissonance between expectations and reality, prevented numerous Jewish individuals from recognizing Jesus as the fulfillment of their long-awaited hope. The second reason is the clash with monotheistic beliefs. Jesus' declaration of divinity posed a direct challenge to the foundational beliefs of the Jewish faith, which emphasized the singular nature of God. The Shema, a pivotal prayer in Judaism, underscores the unity of God and instructs adherents to exclusive worship and love for Him. Jesus' declarations, such as, I am, and, I and the Father are one, struck at the core of Jewish monotheism, seemingly contradicting their ingrained teachings. 
These statements were deemed blasphemous, as they appeared to equate Jesus with God, a notion inconceivable within Jewish theology. The use of I am was particularly significant, echoing the sacred divine name Yahweh, considered too holy to be spoken. Additionally, Jesus' claim of unity with the Father challenged the Jewish understanding of God's identity. Consequently, Jesus' assertion of divinity deeply unsettled many in the Jewish community, seen as a direct challenge to their core beliefs. This theological discord significantly contributed to their rejection of Jesus as the Messiah, unable to align his proclamations with their perception of God's unity. The third reason is the challenge to religious traditions. Jesus' teachings changed how people viewed religion. He valued spiritual growth over earthly riches. His message was about the soul's journey, not worldly success. He forecasted the temple's fall. This temple was key in Jewish faith and culture. Jesus' idea of worship changing was hard for many to believe. Jesus also stressed the need for a true change of heart. He believed in being faithful inside, not just following rituals. This was a big shift from old Jewish ways that focused more on actions than beliefs. Jesus' teaching surprised many who expected a different Messiah. They hoped for a leader to bring back Israel's power and defeat their enemies. Instead, Jesus talked about spiritual truths and questioned the religious leaders. His view of the Messiah as a reformer was hard for many to accept. Jesus asked people to rethink their beliefs and how they lived. This shook their foundations. So, many Jewish leaders and followers denied Jesus was the Messiah. Despite his deep and changing teachings, they saw him as a danger to their way of life. Even after seeing Jesus' miracles, Jewish leaders and folks hesitated to accept him as the Messiah. They were stuck in their ways, tied to old religious beliefs. It was hard for them to let go and accept something new. The fourth reason is influence of Roman authority. The Roman Empire had a tight grip on the Jewish people during Jesus' time. This situation played a big role in how they saw the Messiah and why they didn't accept Jesus. They were waiting for a Messiah to free them from the Romans and set up a kingdom on earth. They wanted a leader to save them from their oppressors, but Jesus was different. He didn't aim to overthrow the Romans right away. He talked about a heavenly kingdom and saving souls instead. This clash between what they expected and what Jesus offered made many reject him. They were afraid of the Romans and wanted a quick fix to their problems, understanding this period of history is key. The Jewish people were struggling, hoping for a Messiah to rescue them quickly from their hardships. Even though Jesus didn't meet their exact expectations, his teachings changed the world. They've influenced countless lives over the years. The Apostle Paul talked about a stumbling block. This block led to the Jews not accepting Jesus as the Messiah. They expected the Messiah to fulfill all prophecies in one visit. The Jews thought the Messiah would meet certain prophecies during his first time on earth. When Jesus didn't meet these, the Jews were confused and didn't see him as the Messiah. Their exact expectations became a stumbling block. Paul saw this stumbling block as revealing a secret. He thought the mystery of the Gentiles being saved was hidden before. The Jews not accepting Jesus let the gospel reach the Gentiles, completing God's salvation plan. This stumbling block shows why the Jews rejected Jesus. They were confused when Jesus did not fulfill all prophecies in his first coming. Yet, this confusion helped share the gospel with more people, including the Gentiles. The rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is not simple. It ties into history, culture, and religion. It isn't about just one reason. The Jewish rejection of Jesus as the Messiah is complicated. Various factors such as misinterpreted prophecies and clashes with monotheism contributed to this. The challenge to religious traditions, fear of Roman rule, and Jesus' claims of divinity also played parts. 
Understanding the Jewish view on Jesus requires looking at these issues closely. It's important to consider religious and historical contexts. This helps illuminate why Jesus is not seen as the Messiah by Jews. We can foster understanding and empathy by acknowledging these reasons. With that said, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more thought-provoking content on faith, history, and culture. Remember, sharing is caring, so spread the word and let's continue this journey together.